Now on to Israel, where a manhunt is underway in Tel Aviv. Authorities there are looking for a gunman suspected of killing two people outside of a pub on Friday. And now we know that that suspect has been identified as a 31-year-old Arab Israeli. He is considered armed and dangerous. Police raided his home on Saturday. A candlelight vigil was held for the victims of this attack. The suspect's father says he notified authorities after seeing his son, seeing his son's image on surveillance video. Listen. Eventually, my son, I heard he was in Tel Aviv and did what he did. I did not raise him in this manner, and I am sorry for what he did. When I found out of the incident, I personally, on my own, arrived to the police station and assisted all security bodies with all directions. First of all, I thank you, and secondly, I wish all wounded to get well, and I send my condolences to everyone, whether a Jew or an Arab. CNN correspondent Ian Lee is following the story live for us in Jerusalem this hour on the investigation. Ian, good to have you. Uh, so we just heard from the suspect's father. What more uh, do you know about this suspect and his background? Well, George, we just were up uh, in his hometown talking to his uncle. Uh, his uncle described someone who was very disturbed, someone who had psychological issues, someone who had been previously on medication and was in a clinic uh, being treated for that, uh, especially when he was uh, in jail, arrested in 2007 for trying to steal a gun from an Israeli soldier. That's when, around that time is when he started receiving his treatment and his family is very concerned. They don't know if he's taking his medication. Uh, they want to have the police arrest him. They want the police to take care of him. Their main concern though right now is that this could end deadly, that either uh, someone could kill him or he'd take his own life. They said that they urge him, wherever he is, to turn himself in, uh, that this should end and uh, end peacefully, George. Ian, I'd like to talk about the situation when it comes to the general public. Uh, investigators are saying that this suspect is armed and dangerous. What more are they telling people uh, in that area? Oh, this is this case is really bizarre for police. It, it doesn't fit any of the molds of either criminal or terrorism. Uh, usually a terrorist attack, the person is caught or killed right at the site. This person's been on the run for almost 48 hours, and uh, Israel has about half its police force looking for him. They have a lot of security cameras. Uh, this is unusual that they haven't been able to find him, which makes some lead to believe that uh, he possibly could have had help uh, escaping. But uh, the Israeli police very much still going door to door, street by street, looking uh, anywhere abandoned buildings, uh, trying to find him. But uh, in Tel Aviv right now, there is a sense of fear. Uh, people are keeping their children away from schools. Uh, people are afraid to go outside because he's still on the run. And as we say, he is armed. The police are considering him armed and dangerous. Although, despite all that, the police still very much urging people to go along with their normal routines, telling them just to be extra alert if they see anything, report it. Uh, but uh, this manhunt uh, is really uh, uh, puzzling quite a few. But a manhunt that is still underway for a suspect who is considered armed and dangerous. Ian Lee live for us in Jerusalem following it all. And Ian, we'll stay in touch with you. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.